So apparently a certain community of people got offended or triggered by something Genuine said or did recently on some show. And I usually stay away from topics like this, but I feel we're at a pretty pivotal point where people really need to speak out against this intolerant leftist ideology that's being forced on people through threats, shame, and ridicule. And without people standing up for themselves and opposing this aggressive ideology, it has potential to become a, a pretty massive problem. So this is my response video to the clip that all these people seem to be so upset about. Um, I'm just going to offer an opinion piece and my views as another member of this society on this subject. Um, and if you're easily offended by people expressing opinions different than your own, I suggest you just, you know, leave the video now and save yourself the, the trouble of having to hear a different opinion. Um, I also want to apologize for the mic quality. Uh, I don't have the best equipment for this type of video because this isn't typically what I do. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to drag this on too much longer. So let's just go ahead and get to the video. So would you go yes. out with a transsexual woman? Right. See, for me, this is, this is the problem because I think, I think, I don't know whether you would say it or not, mm -hmm. but I feel that a lot of guys would not go out with somebody like me, even though I'm a woman, mm -hmm. because no, they, some they, they, no, they, no, but no, no, some, some would, but, the, but they the would worry about the, the connotations uh -huh. of it being confused well, with gender queer. Yeah, but it's not that people are afraid of being labeled genderqueer. I mean, that has absolutely nothing to do with it. It's simply the fact that they're just not attracted to trans men or trans women. Simply because they're not attracted to them. Uh, they don't have to explain or give you a reason as to why they're not. They're just not. Nobody owes anyone else an explanation as to why they don't want to date them or sleep with them. But considering I don't mind explaining, I can say from my personal experience when it comes to attraction, I'm just not interested in trans women because uh, they appear, you know, artificial, and that's not to be hateful, that's just being honest. Uh, no matter how many surgeries they take on, uh, they still appear uh, pretty different from natural women. And, you know, it's like a lot of men don't like women with breast implants, for instance, because they want something real. They're not interested in synthetic attributes. That, that doesn't make them implantophobic or whatever you would want to call it. They just simply prefer natural women, and I don't see why there's anything wrong with that. And that's also only based on appearance. That's totally disregarding the whole fact that they were born a man, and anything that does make them a woman is artificial. Mm -hmm. but yeah, but I don't even what think it, what, I think it's what, even what, more about, I think that we live in such a binary world where people think there's two options of gay and straight, yeah, and I think they think, oh, I'm days. having sex with a woman who's well, trans, the world's a buffet, therefore right. I'm yeah, gay, well, and I think that's kind of why fair. these conversations are important, because yeah, I think important. it's about fragile masculinity at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay, so now the argument is that men who refuse to date or be intimate with trans women are suffering from fragile masculinity. Okay, it seems to me what they're trying to accomplish with these indirect attacks is to ridicule and shame men into doing something that they don't, they don't want to do. I mean, just imagine for a second if this was a lesbian sitting here with a bunch of straight guys, and, and one of the men said, well, would you date me? You date other humans, why not me? Because I'm a man? Uh, and the lesbian said, no, I'm just not attracted or interested in men in that way. And then the whole panel of men started saying, uh, saying things like, see, the problem here is that she's afraid of penis. She believes that she can only sleep with women or else she's straight. She's penis phobic and has a fragile sexuality. Um, you know, I can't speak for everyone, but I will say that for me personally, if not wanting to sleep with a trans woman makes me transphobic or is indicative of my fragile masculinity, then I guess I'm just transphobic and fragile. Mm -hmm. But men think that he made, it, it takes something away from them mm -hmm. from, from being with a trans woman and ultimately it's got nothing, like it's because they're held to this rigid idea of like, I'm heterosexual and if I, oh, what does that mean? I don't know who I am anymore in mm. this world if it's not binary. I think what society men... tells people it's not okay yeah, it's and that's not. the thing. I just don't know why it's so hard for them to understand that if somebody's not interested, they're just not interested. And I don't know why they have to, you know, throw, throw insults and labels out at people who just aren't interested in, in that sort of relationship. Uh, I thought this was the group that screams no means no, you know, to, and, and essentially by their own definition, uh, shaming and trying to ridicule somebody into sleeping with you or dating you is considered rape to them. So I don't know why it's always different when it uh, benefits their narrative. But anyways, back to the video. And I do, and I do I'll, believe the society is changing. Yeah. And, and then I, I believe it's your choice too. Like exactly. I, I would choose not to. Like that doesn't make me like, like uh, but you scared. Would go, you would go uh, out with another woman. Would I go out with you would, another you would, a you would, woman? You would go out with a woman. Yes, of course. But you wouldn't go out with a transsexual no. woman. No. 
the, the fact genuine here you know, he's happy to go with, with women, mm -hmm. but he's but not, not happy... But not every to, woman. Yeah, but no, he's no, happy no, to go exactly. with People, women, yeah. but he's not it's, it's, happy to go... I, 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 this no, is no, 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 on no, you. No, no. I'm just saying he wouldn't feel comfortable going with what is termed... Well, or what, he wouldn't be, feel comfortable going with me. What? Mm -hmm. If, if, you if you're in my there. situation and you are trying to date, there is an no, extremely so narrow saying, band. You're... It seems like what they're trying to articulate here, having a little bit of trouble with it, uh, though, is that because they're trans, uh, they have a very narrow dating pool because straight men don't want to date trans women. And <clears throat> to me, that sounds like a personal problem and not something that you hurl insults at other people for because you're not getting your way. I, I just think it's ridiculous. Saying you're and not from gay, my you're experience, not gay. I'm not gay, but the f I've, I've tried to date. <laughs> Genuine's face right here is the exact same face I made while watching this video for the first time. And everything that comes back, you know, guys have chatted me up not knowing my past, but then as soon as they find out, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that is. I mean, it couldn't be because you're misleading them or not being upfront at the beginning about your transition. No, it must be just because they're transphobic, right? I'm a well. woman, right? Okay. Forget about any T's or anything in front of it. I'm just a woman, okay? Considering they say that uh, their transition is the most like important and pivotal part of their life, it's funny how they would want to just disregard that you know, disregard being born uh, a man and becoming a woman or vice versa uh, when it benefits them. Okay. So on that okay. score, you would date me, wouldn't you? Not if you told me you was trans. No, no, I'm not telling you I'm trans. I'm a woman. <laughs> a so woman, you would, yeah, a woman. You would date woman, me then. Woman, woman, yeah. Go on, hey, let's babe. have a kiss. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> And this right here is what this community is all up in arms about. The genuine refused an intimate advance from a trans woman. Uh, people are throwing insults, accusations, and trying to shame him for not doing something that he didn't want to do. Um, I'll go back to my previous analogy. Imagine if this was a lesbian woman and a panel of men, and one of them tried to kiss her against her will, and then she refused. Uh, would we see this level of contempt and hate from people directed at the lesbian, or would we see the opposite in people accusing the man of sexual harassment or sexual assault? I think the answer is pretty obvious. Uh, trying to shame and force someone into doing something they're not comfortable with or that they don't want to do is rape by their own definition. Also by their own definitions, what they're doing in response to this is victim shaming. Uh, this is nothing new. There was a video made by a YouTuber a while ago uh, named Riley Dennis. And I don't want to get too far off topic here, but I do want to shed a little more light on their philosophies and ideals when it comes to attraction and, uh, and dating. So here's a few clips from that video. Would you date a trans person, honestly? Think about it for a second. Okay, got your answer? Well, if you said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. I think that people are more than their genitals. I think that you could feel attraction to someone without knowing what's between their legs. If you were to say that you're only attracted to people with vaginas or people with penises, it really feels like you're reducing people just to their genitals. You're kind of objectifying them, but you're thinking of them more as genitals than objects. Okay, so hopefully that helps illustrate uh, what their beliefs are when it comes to this subject. Uh, and one thing I've never understood is uh, that they accuse everyone else of being obsessed with genitals and scream that genitals are not what defines gender or sexuality. Um, to me, that doesn't make sense when they, I mean, they're the ones spending tens of thousands of dollars to change their genitals, you know? Uh, if genitals didn't matter or they're irrelevant as they claim, why would they go through the process of physically changing uh, their body and going through painful surgery, which is also very expensive, uh, to change something that's completely uh, irrelevant? I'm very opinionated when it comes to this whole social justice movement going on right now. Um, and if you like this kind of video and you're interested in seeing more by some chance, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll continue to make videos like this. Uh, and if you would like to keep up with my videos, you could subscribe if you'd like to. If you agree with my points in this video, I would really appreciate a like to combat the dislike spam I'm likely going to receive for sharing my honest opinions. If you disagree and you would like to discuss your views with me uh, on this, I would be gladly willing to discuss it with you. Uh, just leave a comment and let me know that you're interested in something like that and we'll get something together. I will add though that I'm not interested in a shouting match or immature name calling. You know, I want a civil discussion with someone who holds a different belief than my own, but only if it's respectful. Uh, this isn't about hate or discrimination or anything like that. This is simply people standing up for their right to choose who they, uh, who they are romantic with and standing up for their right to express their opinions and views without being intimidated and uh, shouted down by labels. 
I know who I am. Uh, my friends and family know who I am. So if you want to label me as hateful or bigoted and uh, dismiss me as, as just hateful, that's perfectly fine with me. I refuse to be intimidated by name calling. Uh, for those of you who are still here, thanks for watching the whole video and I appreciate it. He's oh, just yeah. not that into it. Yeah.